You ready for the Daytona 500 or what? Ryan again, Trezian Racing. It's Friday morning. Um, the plan is to race tomorrow at Antioch Speedway. It's gonna be just a regular uh, points race for them. Uh, it's gonna be dwarf cars and super stock, so it should be a pretty early night, or I'm hoping so. Um, it's just gonna be a regular $200 to win race uh, for the super stocks. So, um, got a pretty good feel about this race. Feel like we got a pretty good car to go out there and be competitive and compete for a win. So we'll see. Uh, even if we do win, we'll probably be in the hole a couple hundred bucks, just the, you know, the way it is out there, racing for 200 bucks and uh, 50 dollars a pop for uh, pit passes. So it'll probably be me and about five other people. So, like I said, I win. I'll probably be in the hole a couple hundred bucks, but that's just why we do it. Got to go fast and turn left. So us racers are just crazy like that. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna kind of hang around and eat some more corn and drink some beer until this freaking postage guy shows up. Uh, boys came over last night. It was my birthday, so we didn't really get a whole lot done on the car. We did a lot of taking it apart, but we didn't do really anything uh, as far as putting it back together. So mostly just we're drinking beer and, and BSing a little bit. So we had a good dinner, had some corn. As you can see here on the front of the car, Olivia went ahead and put a little happy birthday sign on it. Um, and then I want to just apologize to all the viewers right now. Sorry about that. Um, we're looking like complete crap the last couple months, so I went ahead and did a little trimming up on the haircut finally. Uh, it was long overdue. Don't worry, there's still a little bit of flow back there. Had to get Livia to uh, trim the back up for me a little bit, but feeling good. Got my Gordon Family Farms hat on today, so uh, it's a good day. But back here on the left rear, I don't know when this happened during that last race, but we ended up snapping the, uh, the left rear chain bolt off. It was right down here I'm not sure when it snapped but it was basically on full kill the only thing holding it on was the left rear shock so I was getting a little more left rear drop than I wanted and anticipated and that would kind of make sense of why the car was getting kind of tight up there on top towards the end of the race um, but nonetheless it was pretty fast all right so this is what I'm waiting on uh, in the mail whenever this guy shows up he's bringing me a center link uh, that I got from Amazon so should be here pretty soon anyways uh, if you guys saw the last race, uh, the video of it last weekend, um, lap one, turn three, went down a little low, got, got a little pinched and, uh, hit an infield tractor tire. Um, and it was a pretty big one. So it bent the left rear rim a little bit and it, uh, bent the crap out of the, uh, center link here. So the mounting point here is flat and this one should be flat. So that's how much it got bent. Well, 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 look who showed up. It's only like four o'clock now. Took all day. Got the center link in. Radiator back in. Topped off water. Back here. Doing a little work on the left rear chain. Welding it back together. Back on all fours. Got the toe set. Got a wing on it. I'll weld it back up. And then got a little radiator shroud piece in the front. It is what, 230 ish? Yeah. Not even two. Not even two yet? We got Dalton, Chris, Yo, Eric. I'm on vacation. Yeah, he's on vacation. He was supposed to be camping today, but it got cancer or something, right? Yep. Baby. All right, we're here at Antioch 
Rock Speedway down on the track. Not too bad, we're not sinking in. Hopefully it won't be like last week, mud packing. What you doing? Oh, you know, just putting on Ryan's GoPro. <laughs> he wants to see some flames, so we're gonna try to get some flames. <laughs> Material I have in the back of my head. You like contaminant too. Contaminant? Oh yeah. yeah. Full, contaminant full contaminant seat. seat. <laughs> Those are the best ones you can find. Okay. Look. What? Oh. Added this little, uh, material? Material back there and it works pretty good keeping the mud out on the inside. Yeah, that actually does. It just hits it. It doesn't stick and it falls down. It looks good. We, Mikey and I actually saw it come down. Okay. So this is when it doesn't have the material. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a pain in the butt. It's clean. Yeah, that's it not even bad, but still. That's clean. Yeah, we got a lot of it off already. it to be over so it would grab kind of over there in that spot but it seems like it's want to slide over a little bit we'll see after the heat race basically what happened was we just went out there for uh for hot laps and the track's really muddy in some spots and kind of dry and uh and hooked up in other spots so it's kind of hard to get a good feel of the track but uh came back in and i noticed something was weird the chain link at least my dad does wrapping around the bottom bolt and doing like a turn underneath it and it was cutting me about four links out of it. So we're fixing that right now, put a little hose clamp on it. Should be good to go for the heat race. How did that feel? Oh, I felt really, really good. Look, Devo. Dun, 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 dun. Mud, Dalton's fixing the chain, and we're about to put some new fresh set tatter, uh, tires on. New fresh set tires. Some traction. So it has some traction. Okay. Because he doesn't have a new one for that one. Oh. That tire don't matter. Ooh. I still got the gloves in there, Mikey. Oh, I know. It's great. Um, how'd you meet Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> you see the mud is bad. And you gotta use a stick, which is good, to get off the mud, which is bad. You're doing great, bud. Glad I'm here to stupidize. Stupidize. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's for YouTube, bro. You can't. Come on, now. It's for cuss. YouTube? You can't cuss. Robin, I'm sorry, but it's been a trend for the last 18 years, so. <laughs> You're on the 
lug nuts? Yeah, all right, all right. All no. Right, you did cool. Stop. No. <laughs> adjustments in it.
can't run like that. That's all I heard them say. He told me you can't run like that, and I saw the black flag. So you thought it was the front end, and then it's Yeah, I was like, okay. So then I fucking flip up the net, and you're done. I was coming in, I couldn't see shit, so I rolled the window down to look out where I was going. Uh, I probably could not see anything. I didn't even front. notice the window. I didn't even already took off. I will say this. Pit crew kicked ass tonight. You guys did. <laughs> you have a gunshot. Huh? <laughs> so do you have a gunshot? <laughs> oh yeah. This is not this is not a spoiler here. <laughs> There's a race card in Atkins diet right here. Just sinking in a little bit. <laughs> That's right. That, that is a GoPro. For a GoPro. <laughs> about that one two racing lifestyle this is venture 2014 Chez right here by the way <laughs> he was in sixth grade when the, that happened all right i know it happens it's racing it's okay i have nowhere to go what do you want to say what you said yeah so the the front of the nose came up and i was blind couldn't see anything so i pulled off these guys ripped it off. I got, went back on the track. I was probably, what, two laps down? And then uh, coming in, I had to put the window net down to look out because I couldn't see out the front of it. And then I forgot to put it back up. And they got on the speaker and they said, hey, 12, you can't run like that. I figured they meant the front end. Parked it. And then like, one of the officials said after the race, oh, you know, it was uh, it was a window net they, they got you the black flag for, not the front of the car being off. And they didn't say I anything. I was like, why did you say your window net was down? Put your window net up, you know? <laughs> it's only one thing to say at a time like this. That's it. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Super truck's not too happy tonight. No, he's not. Or she. Is it he or she? Could have been a lot worse though. I don't know. Could have been a whole lot worse. at the aftermath here on this lazy Sunday um, gonna get this thing cranked up unloaded back into the shop and uh, get it up on jacks check out everything make sure that uh, we didn't miss anything as far as what might be bent and broken um, I'm sure we'll find some more stuff but uh, overall guys um, after kind of having some time to let it process it was a uh, it was definitely the best case scenario could have been a lot worse uh, everybody was okay um, wasn't that big of a wreck, but uh, after looking at everything, the nose didn't get tore up too bad. It was a bumper that got crunched. Um, kind of what happened was uh, started in sixth in the main, made it up to fourth within the first lap, and uh, I was right on the 94's uh, tail there, running for third. And uh, going into three, I was right there, and he got a little too sideways, spun it, and I got collected. It wasn't too bad of an initial impact, really. It was just kind of my right front um, getting into his left front. And then uh, apparently the, the 11H car was right behind us um, and he didn't have anywhere to go. So he plowed into the left rear and that actually sent me on top of his hood and got both front wheels off the ground, popped the wheelie. Um, so after watching that video, I'm pretty impressed with uh, how the car held up and uh, how there's not much more damage than I'm what I'm seeing right now. So the toe doesn't look like it's out by any means. So. We won't know until we get it up on the jacks and take a look at it, but pretty lucky the, the way it turned out. So I think we're making some pretty good progress on speed. We won the heat race. Um, There's only three, three cars in the heat race, but still it was a win and it felt pretty dang good. So um, not sure when we're gonna be racing next or where, but it'll be sometime soon. Um, so you guys stay tuned and make sure you share and uh, give us a comment and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you guys will see the next video of us getting this thing up in the air and uh, doing an overview and replacing whatever we need to replace. I know I gotta do an oil change on it and uh, maybe, maybe we'll get some new body panels made up. So we'll see. But like I said, overall, could have been a lot worse. And uh, main thing is everybody's safe. So uh, that being said, guys, uh, I wanna thank the Hillbilly crew for coming out and always helping. 
and uh, also my dad, Mikey and Livia, and my buddy Melvin from up north who made the, uh, the trip down to come watch the race. It was fun having everybody there in the pits and having fun. Just wasn't a good night of racing for us, but it was a good night and day in general, so um, pretty fun. Anyways, racing's fun sometimes, racing's not so fun sometimes, so we're gonna go out there and uh, give them hell next time and hopefully have a lot of fun. So you guys take care, have a good week. We'll see you next time.